ripe old age of 22, I've had a slew of, you know, experiences. I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly that the dating scene had to offer. A couple of situations that I'll share with you. There was one instance where I started falling for this man and he told me that he wasn't ready to commit to anyone. So I left it at that. He went back to his home country to visit his mom and came back with a wife. Or at that other time where the guy that I was seeing I thought was single, and get this, even his friends kept it a secret from me. Until I got that friendly phone call from his wife telling me to leave him alone. So at the peak of my dating life, I would have four first dates in a week. So it was definitely not for the lack of trying. I met a lot of people, but I was at a point where, you know, I'm done with quantity. I want quality. I need just one good man, one man who I can share my highs and lows with. And whatever it is that I was doing at that time obviously was not working for me. So with that realization, I started seeking a more unorthodox way of um, shifting my, my love life. I went back to ancient metaphysical truths that I realized um, has a lot of power in terms of what happens in my life. So I deployed whatever uh, tools and techniques that I learned from those ancient metaphysical truths. And two months later, I met my one. That first date was the best first date in my dating history. We were the first table there at the restaurant and we were the last one to leave. The conversation just flowed and we just aligned with each other emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, and obviously there's that physical spark as well that was obviously very delicious. Our first date was November of 2002. We moved in together January 2003. April, he proposed, and 10 months after our first date, we got married. And in fact, we just came back from Bermuda celebrating our 10th wedding anniversary. And we now share a beautiful six-year-old daughter together. Obviously, we've gone through highs and lows as do all relationships. But 10, month, uh, 10 years on, our commitment level has deepened so much more. And our passion for each other actually is just as strong as it is now as when we first met. So why am I telling you all? If I can find the love of my life after going through all those dating disasters prior to that, it can happen to you too. 